Today on the Cool Stuff Guys Like channel, I'm gonna show you how to change the blower speed on your furnace. Some reasons you might wanna change your blower speed is if you replaced your filter, say you've got a whole home air cleaner like this, and you wanted to install a more, a better filter like a MERV 16 instead of a MERV 13, which is gonna filter a lot more out, but it's gonna also be a lot more restrictive. So you kind of have to compensate for that somehow if the system wasn't originally designed for that filter. Now I will mention before you get started, you don't really wanna slow down the speed of your blower unless you've consulted with a HVAC installer or specialist, because if you don't have enough flow going across your heat exchanger, you could really overheat the heat exchanger, which is really gonna shorten the life of it or could ultimately lead to a crack. So in my case here, we're gonna speed up the blower and that's gonna just help with circulation this winter. We're also kind of in the middle of this pandemic, which they say more circulation in your house is one way to really help lower risk of transmission. So I've already shut the power off to my furnace. In my case, I've actually got an inline switch. So I just have to flick that switch off. If you don't have that, just go over to your electrical panel and find the breaker that your furnace is on and shut that off. And we're gonna remove the cover here to expose our main, our main uh, circuit board. And there is a limit switch here. So when you take this off, it does actually shut the power off. Everything up in here though is still gonna maintain power if you didn't shut the breaker off. On this door, um, and this is a Train XR95, but fundamentally what I'm doing here is gonna be very similar on any uh, forced air type furnace. But on this door, we've got a little wiring diagram that should basically tell you, tell you what most of these wires do and what color each speed is. So let's go ahead and we'll look at that. So up here, we've got table A. We'll zoom in so you can see that. But that's basically your speed taps for your fan motor. And if you look down here, it says red is low, yellow is medium low, blue is medium high, and black is high. So that's gonna be important to know. And then if we go over to our circuit board here, and you look at what's coming out of the blower. So the blower's right here, basically right behind this panel. You've got your red, yellow, blue, and black. And of course you've got your white, which is gonna be one of your um, non-switching wires. So don't worry about that wire. So we follow these back and then looking at how these wires come into our actual circuit board here, you'll see that the black, which is the um, high, is going into the cool pin. The blue, which is medium high, is going into the heat pin. And then we've got our other two speeds sitting on these park pins. So since it's winter and I wanna speed this furnace up so that it's blowing on high um, when the heat is turned on, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch the um, high black wire from cool to heat. So I take these off. And just make sure to take a picture of what you're doing here so that come summertime when you wanna flip it back again, you can um, remember how it was previously configured. So that's it. I switched those two wires and now when the heat kicks on, it's gonna power the, the heat pin, which will send now power to the black wire on the blower instead of on the uh, blue wire. And the black wire, of course, being high speed where previously we were on medium high speed. A couple more just words of advice. Just make sure, I mean, there's a lot of other black wires in here. So just make sure that the 
colored wires that you're moving are in fact the wires that are heading to the blower motor. And I, I think these are actually pretty standard colors, black being high, um, blue being medium high, and let's see, um, yellow, medium, low, and red, low. So this of course is a four speed blower. So now all we have to do is stick our cover back on And then I'll turn my switch back on. And what you see is there's a red light in here that's blinking. So initially you might think you did something wrong, but what that means is standby. So it's not gonna kick the furnace on after the power kicked off and kicked back on. It's gonna put it on standby, usually for about five minutes, and then everything will just go back to normal. I hope this helped you out a lot. Um, if you like DIY and how-to videos like this, make sure to click subscribe below. Thanks for watching.